gosh, it is so hot out here. Oh, my man. Oh, I am yeah. parched. Me too. Too many water? No. Oh, man. No. I might fall over. Please don't. <sighs> too hot. It is. It's outrageous out here. Oh, man. Can you imagine the density altitude? Oh. Excuse me, the what? Density altitude. Don't say that like it's a normal thing. What is density altitude? Mindy, come on. Density altitude. Yeah, I'm saying it makes me understand it. So, what is density altitude? Okay, the density altitude, pressure altitude, corrected for non-standard temperature. This would be non-standard temperature. All right, so we just learned about what density altitude is. Density altitude is pressure altitude adjusted for non-standard temperature. If we look at this chart here, we can see pressure altitude is plotted here on these diagonal lines. And as our temperature goes up, our density altitude goes up. Okay, so in the last chart, we learned the relationship between density altitude and temperature. But how is that going to apply to our flight? If we look at this chart, and let's say our gross weight is 1350. If we are flying at zero degrees Celsius, our out of ground effect hover ceiling is going to be 7,000 feet. However, if we bump up the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius, our out of ground effect hover ceiling drops down to 4,500 feet. That's a significant drop, 2,500 feet. So we just learned about how a high density altitude can affect our out of ground effect hover. There are a couple other ways that high Density altitude can affect our flight as well. Our max airspeed, our VNE, is going to decrease as that density altitude goes up. Our engine performance is going to decrease. And our emergency procedure practice is affected by the thinner air that is a product of our high DA. Alright. So that's how density altitude affects us as pilots, Mindy. Oh!